Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we are trying to solve question 8 of the C3 Edexcel June 2017 paper. Okay, so what does the question tell us? So over here we're given a nice figure 3 which is showing a curve with um, two points, T, T, uh, point T, P, T, which seems to be the turning point. So probably the highest point on the graph too. And the statement states that the number of rabbits on an island is modeled by the following equation. And we see the equation has exponentials and negative exponential powers. And this is all for t greater than or equal to zero. So I'm, we just have to assume that this is most likely time. And yeah, it says where p is the number of rabbits, t is after they were introduced onto the island. Okay, so part A. Calculate the number of rabbits that were introduced onto the island. So if you want to calculate the number of rabbits that were introduced, this is probably from the very beginning of time. And the very beginning of time is obviously at time zero. So what they want us to do is literally plug in t equals zero into that equation. And when you do that, you should literally get this. So we can call this PO, represent times the num the population at time zero. And if you do this, if you bust this in the calculator, you should get 65 rabbits. And that's it. Literally done. One more question. Now let's jump on to part B. So here we'll be trying to figure out the derivative of the of p with respect to the time variable t using that given equation that we have. Now, how do we differentiate this one? So as you can see, just ignoring 40 for a second because we know that the derivative of a constant is zero. The equation we have, a fractional equation, we could actually use the quotient rule. And if you remember, the quotient rule, we need two variables, u and v. And it's given by um, v times the derivative of u minus u times the derivative of v all over v squared. Okay? And at this stage, we just have to label the u and v. So I personally, and pretty much every single math textbook does, they label the top half u and the bottom half v. And here we are. Now, to differentiate u, simply to differentiate exponential, we literally differentiate the, the power part minus 0.1t and just drop the zero minus 0 0.1 down and multiply it to the 100. And that should give us negative 10. And of course, we copy the exponential part. Likewise, for v, differentiate 1, you get nothing. Differentiate 3 to the power of minus 0 0.9t, well, you drop minus 0. minus 0 0.9 down, times the 3, you should get minus 2.7. And of course, the exponential part. And that's it. Now we just plug all of that into the dp over dt equation, and um, we should get the following. So, I mean, it's all a, it's all a matter of construction. I try to be quite um, skillful with it. So, if you if you're dealing with um, a longer term with you know one plus or minus something, I tend to put that second. So, v times u prime. I uh, I did uh, minus ten e first. I did u prime times v first because it's just easier to write. And minus, so notice that you got negative 2.7 for v prime. Well, if it's a negative, I'll put that first before the u. So I have plus 2.7 e to the power negative 0 0.9 t. Then I times this against u, which is 100 e power minus 0 0.1 t. And literally smash this all over v squared. And v squared is just 1 plus 3 times exponential all over power 2. And literally, this is the end of the answer. Now, all they really want you to, all that you're probably expected to do is just tidy the, the top line. So first things first, let's expand the brackets and multiply out the, the right-hand side. So we should get minus 10e power minus blah blah times 1 is the same. Minus 30e to power minus t. So remember, minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1t times uh, minus 0 0.9t. You add the power, so minus... 0.1 plus minus 0.9 is just minus 1, so just minus t. And likewise, plus 270e negative for the same reason. Oh, man, that's a lot, right? It's a lot of reading, guys, isn't it? So just just have a look. Next one, so minus 30 plus 270 give you 240e minus t. And of course, minus 10e power negative 0.1t. And lastly, we can factorize 10e minus t out, and we should get the following. Voila, that's it. Man, this can really drag your breath out. So I hope this helps, guys. And uh, for those continuing, get ready for part C. All right, what do we have here? 
So it states that the number of rabbits initially increases, reaching a maximum value given by PT, as we saw earlier in the graph, when small t equals capital T. So capital T is clearly the maximum. So using your answer from part B, calculate the, the following. The value of t to two decimal places and the value of pt to nearest integer. So really, um, let's, let's, let's understand this. So when we differentiate firstly, it, um, we should understand that the curve we saw in figure 3 is literally the turning point. And this turning point for any you know, der derivative, any shape, is always when the gradient is 0. And we know that the first derivative is the gradient. So setting that to 0, we have the dp over dt equal to 0. Therefore, we can solve that equation. So notice that this bottom half of the fraction multiplying against 0 will cancel out. And you're just left with the following 10e minus t times 24 minus e to the power 0 0.90. So the first solution, 10e to minus t equals 0, is no solution, of course, because taking logs, well, you can't have a log 0. Ignoring that, so taking the second solution, 24 minus e to the power 0 0.90 equals 0, well, just doing a quick algebra, you know, plus an exponential cross and then taking logs and then dividing by 0 0.9 should give us ln24 over 0.9. And friends, this should give you 3.53 years. And that's it. Plugging in the value of t into the, the original p equation should finally give us uh, roughly 102. So can you guys share that for me? Because again, these are model answers, but either way, the methodology should be fine. Now, let's, let's wrap this up with part D. Yeah? Part D should be quite easy. What is, what's it saying? So it's saying use the model to state the maximum value of K. Okay, so we know that as time progresses after the capital T is the maximum value T, we know that the number of rabbits decrease to K. So remember, K is just some random constant which occurs after, you know, you decrease infinitely. So we can simply say that as T approaches infinity, then capital P the population approaches its maximum population, which is k. I should really call it p max, so they should call it p max. So another way to say this is to take the, the limit. And again, if you've never seen this limit before, I mean, it's a very convenient tool which you use in higher level of mathematics. It's not it's pretty much uh, substituting the values in. So you just we just write that the limit as t approaches infinity of the equation p. In other words, we substitute in the t as infinity or in the calculator, you can just put in a lot of nines. It's like nine, 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 nine. I just put in about I don't know five nines. If you plug in five nines, you'll know that t to negative infinity actually approaches zero. So it's like hundred times zero, and likewise over one plus three times zero, and you know hundred times zero alone is zero. So that you don't even need to worry about the bottom. Hence, zero plus forty will give you forty. So actually, in the long run, then the population should decrease to forty rapids. Voila, and that's it guys, you know, I hope this video helped and um, Let me know in the comment section if you want me to solve any other problems outside this paper I have plenty more videos that's coming up and um, I should you know, hopefully have the rest of the C3 paper uploaded by the time Well, it will be uploaded after <laughs> after a couple of days Anyway, take care guys look after yourself look after your family enjoy your days your evening and Let me know and have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you all later. Ciao.